Welcome back to the Clash Tips YouTube channel. Now that the Cookie Rumble event is over, the giant gauntlet has disappeared from availability. Oh no! But is it really that big of a loss? Now it's pretty much predetermined that Supercell will eventually put the giant gauntlet in the gym shop so you can buy it for a thousand gems or 1500 gems. But do you even need it in the first place? For the answer to that, you really need to compare the Giant Gauntlet with the other Barbarian King equipment options at max, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how similar the options are. First off, we have the Vamp Stash. While it makes anyone who wears it look like a star, wow. this ability seems to be the most balanced of all five abilities we have so far. It's the Vanilla Ice Cream the plain Jane, the average Joe ability that works in pretty much every situation. You can't go wrong with using the vamp stash as your regular go-to equipment choice because it's the most well-rounded. At max, it offers 300 healing per hit, 68 DPS increase, and a 22% attack speed boost. Second, we have the Rage Vial. Now, this ability is the most powerful of them all and absolutely shines when it comes to direct damage output. At max, it boasts a whopping 155% damage increase, 54.3 attack speed boost, 128 DPS rise, and a massive 1,890 hit point recovery. If you're looking for raw offensive power, then you can't go wrong with this piece of equipment and it could also be a smart choice as a staple ability when going into battle. Third, we have the Earthquake Boots. At max, these can definitely shake things up with a 102 damage point increase and a hefty 1913 hit point recovery but this ability really shines when you really need to break down some walls. This also only makes it best for unique situations, as the Rage Vial beats it in almost every category. Fourth, we have the Barbarian Puppet. At max, this ability is unique in that it summons 44 Rage Barbarians, gives a 140% damage increase, a 2,550 hit point increase, and a 1,260 hit point recovery. With the addition of the Rage Barbarians, this piece of equipment definitely rivals the Rage Vial in viability on the battlefield. Last, we have the Giant Gauntlet. At max, this piece of equipment boasts 60% incoming damage reduction, 180 damage per second increase, and 44 healing per second. When activated, this ability lasts for 17 seconds and is definitely the most tanky of all the equipment options. But unfortunately, it comes short in damage production and HP increase. The Giant Gauntlet also offers some splash damage capabilities, but honestly, on well-built bases, I'm not sure that this option will be much of a help. Also, a huge negative is that this piece of equipment has 27 levels, which means it will take much, much longer to upgrade to max. I actually was curious how ChatGPT would rank each piece of equipment after inputting all the data, and interestingly enough, it ranked the Rage Vial first, Barbarian Puppet second, Vamp Stash third, Earthquake Boots fourth, and last on the list came the Giant Gauntlet. Other Clash YouTubers have even shown how the Giant Gauntlet isn't anything super special, even though it's a piece of epic equipment. In this video by Trample Damage, he shows each piece of equipment at max, which is important, in multiple different scenarios, and the Giant Gauntlet did not overpower the other pieces of equipment in any way. If you're interested in watching his analysis, I'll put the link to his video in the notes below this video. In fact, after a few weeks of gameplay with the new Barbarian equipment, I will solely be focusing on upgrading the Rage Vial and the Vamp Stash first 
and second of all. Then I'll be focusing on the Barbarian Puppet third. The only time I'll be putting ore into the Giant Gauntlet will be if I'm somehow overflowing with Starry Ore, which is saved only for Epic Equipment, as I definitely don't want any ore to go to waste. Obviously, which piece of equipment to use will be situation dependent, but if you're looking for raw power, then the Rage Vial and the Barbarian Puppet will give you the most raw power in any situation. If you're looking for the most durability, then the Rage Vial and the Vamp Stash would be your best choice to make sure that your king lasts longer. Of course, the Giant Gauntlet boast a 60% incoming damage reduction, but that's only for 17 seconds. For the rest of the time, the giant gauntlet pales in comparison to all of the other pieces of equipment. So do you really need the giant gauntlet? So for situations where maybe you're doing a smash attack and you're sending the king directly up through the center of the base, you're going to need that raw power. And for that, you're going to need the rage vial and the barbarian puppet. If you're needing something like where you're going to send the king around the base, maybe clear some trash buildings and you need him to last just a little bit longer then the rage vial and the vamp stash would be the best options so the giant gauntlet kind of seems like a lousy version of the other pieces of equipment that you already have now it is pretty awesome to see your king grow to huge non-life-size proportions and that is pretty awesome but if you didn't get the giant gauntlet during the cookie rumble event i wouldn't worry because you're not missing out on much let me know what you think about this equipment comparison with the Barbarian King in the comments below. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. I am TipDog20. I'll see you next video.